Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today once again, I have shared few of the interview questions that has been asked by Flipkart for data analyst profile. So the very first question is, let's say you have a Flipkart database. Now, what could be the possible tables, their attributes and the relation between those tables? Now, this is the very basic question, very general question that can be asked in any data field. Either you are applying for machine learning engineer, either you are applying for data scientist, data engineering, maybe for business analyst or data analyst. This question can be asked by anyone, like the common tables you could have, their attributes and the relation between those tables. They can even ask you about the dependent uh, attribute as well. So what, how you can decide that this is the dependent attribute. So these are some general questions that can be asked. Like here for Flipkart, the tables could be like customer table, an employee table, orders table, product tables. And the attributes could be like something like for customer table, the attributes could be like customer ID, name, address, their city, state, gender, email ID, contact number, their account details, uh, profession, something like that. You know that these are some very common, but some very general question. So uh, for employee table as well, I think the attributes could be similar one. And for the orders table, it could be like order ID, gender, or you can say that category, product ID, product details, and the amount they are spending you know, on that order, the customer ID, and obviously the order date, which is really important one. So these are somewhat similar for the product table as well. Well, I have created a dummy database for this, actually dummy table. Here you can see this customer table and the another one is order table that I have created. This is just a dummy table actually, not uh, the actual one. There are just few values. You can say that nine rows. So basically I have just answered, uh, sorry, I have inserted only those fields, only those columns, the values only in those columns which are required for further questions. Like as per the question that has been asked to me, these are the questions. So rest of the fields are just null rest of the columns are nulls fine so another thing actually last time someone asked me to share a word document as well so i have created a word document here you can see the tables and the attributes for those tables so now the next question is how to see the number of customers who ordered in the month of may so let me just take you to this so if you want to see the order who ordered in the month of sorry customer who ordered in the month of may so may is the fifth month so if you see here this is just a dummy table so one two three uh, three customers have ordered in the month of may so but in that case the that one you know the flipkart has a huge database many millions of values so you can't calculate that uh, manually so how we can do that let me just put uh, write down a query for that well as we want to count the number of customers so we are going to use a count function here and for the condition uh, we are going to use where clause here and we know uh, that we want to count the number of customer for only uh, May month. So you can use either you can write May inside double quotes or single quotes or you can write the uh, directly the month. So I have written five here. So uh, this is how we can calculate the number of customer in any month or any year. Well, the next question is there could be a chance that person has ordered thrice or maybe more than that in the same month. So I do not want to see the same person second time. So basically, I want to see all the distinct IDs. The person who has, uh, you know, repeated the order, I do not want to see that. For this, I am going to use distinct keyword here. So basically, after this, you will get uh, basically actually in this order, in this customer ID, we have only, you know, it is a dummy dat database. So we have very few values, just nine. And uh, obviously, each customer ID is unique here, uh, which is not the case uh, in case of Flipkart database. So that's why it is giving us three values because each customer ID is unique. It is distinct. If there is any repetition, it will not give us three. So uh, now let's move on to the next question. The next question is uh, we want customer ID, total sales and total number of orders for each customer who ordered in the month of May. Uh, customer ID is simple for total sales. We are going to use some function aggregate function, which is some. So total number of orders 
uh, we are again going to use count for that who ordered in the month of May. So let me just, just take you to the my SQL workbench. So this will be the query. I have already told you that uh, total number we can calculate it with sum and uh, count is used to count the number of orders. Uh, we are retrieving it from table orders where the month of order date is five and we need to use group by here. The reason is we can't use aggregate function without group by. So obviously we are calculating, you know, we are evaluating the total number of sales uh, which has been done in the month of May. So we need to use group by and we are grouping it with the respect to the customer ID. So let me just run this and these are the total number of customer IDs who purchased, who ordered in the month of May and this is the total number of amount they have spent and these are the total number of orders. Uh, so the customer ID one has just order has they have purchased one thing and this is the amount they have spent there. So the next question is they need to get the customer ID and the names who are from Delhi and have transacted more than 5000 in last three months. So uh, for this Actually, I have already write, uh, written down the queries to save the time. Basically, here we are going to join. So we are joining the customer table with the order table. Uh, we know that the common uh, column or we can say that the common field between both is the customer ID. So we are using left join here. And after that, we need customer ID, we need name and amount and order date we don't need it it's up to you if you want to add you can otherwise no issues you these are not the necessary the uh, interviewer just asked me about the customer id and the name so i have joined both the tables as we need you know delhi as a city which is not pre present in orders table and the order date is not present in customer table moreover we are filtering the data on the basis of amount uh, you know the customer has spent so that's why we are joining both the tables it depends if you don't want to use join you can use another uh, other way as well so uh, after joining i am using where clause because there are three conditions the city must be delhi the month of order date must be in april march or may and the another third condition is the total amount they have spent should be greater than 5000 Okay, we can put these conditions here, but for total amount, we need to use sum function. And you know that sum is an aggregate function, which basically evaluates a group of values and give you a single value in return. And for aggregate functions, you need to use group by. So that's why we have used group by here. So this is all about the query. So basically after joining, we have put the condition here and where we always use where before the group by one more thing to remember if you are going to use where after group by it will give you an error and you have to use uh, you know group by for having condition so amount should be greater than 5000 why uh, so i got an error uh, c customer id uh, c dot name uh, oh sorry c dot group by customer id so this is it um, okay why i am explaining you because the interviewer can ask you a few questions like what is the order of execution for you know clauses like can you use where after group by so why are you using group by here why can't you put it you know the sum of amount along with where we can't do that so these are the few questions that can be asked by uh, you know interview at that time so be confident and you should know what you are doing so that's all about today's video i hope you have learned something please like the video and do subscribe the channel stay tuned thank you so much bye bye